Hello, my loves. I'm wishing you peace, blessings, and abundance. Um, I'm going to jump right into this video. It's about uh, evil versus live. So let's talk about what the fuck evil means in the society's definition of evil. So evil is described or defined as being profoundly immoral and um, malevolent. If you don't know what malevolent is, because I looked it up as well, it's having or showing a wish to do evil to others. Okay, the um, adjective to uh, uh, adjective of evil is wickedness and e um, immorality and depravity, especially when regarded as a supernatural force. What is supernatural, you ask? Supernatural is attributed to um, some force beyond scientific understanding or the laws of nature. Synonyms will be paranormal, psychic, magic, occult, mystic, mystical, superhuman. So they're basically calling us um, evil because we are mystical, magical beings with psychic, uh, with psychic gifts and we utilize our magic or our magi in order to manifest our reality. So that's what they're calling evil, which is our very being, our very core. All right. Um, however... To me, evil is not what we were told it is. It is it. How can we be described as being evil or wicked for that being who we are at our core being? We are a supernatural force. We are supernatural beings, right? So, evil is actually the reverse of live or to live life. So, um, most people are actually operating in the upside down. It's, if you watch Stranger Things, you see how they have um, they have two different worlds. One is the world where they show everything with the sun light, everything looking like um, colorful and bright, and then the upside down is the darkness. What they want to scare you from the darkness, darkness. <laughs> I thought of Charlie Murphy. I thought of uh, Rick James. And Charlie Murphy, the Dave Chappelle skit, when he was talking about darkness. But anywho, um, give a shout out to uh, Charlie Murphy, the ancestor. He, he was so fucking hilarious. And Dave Chappelle, some of his funniest stuff actually came from Charlie Murphy. So shout out to the ancestor. I had actually um, I almost forgot that he had transitioned. So yeah, um, big him up. Um, So that's what that TV show is. It's just talking, um, showing you the different worlds so it's showing the reverse side of the world most of people are actually living in the reverse of the upside down of the world so most people are actually operating in evil which um to me is they're either stuck in the past or their angels are hopeful of the future which is being stuck in your mind it's a a mind driven uh physical reality it is an ego-driven physical reality. It is living it is actually not living. It is a fear-based reality. So, which is the mind's focus on the physical existence alone, which is why people have a fear of getting older, which is why people have a fear of death, which is why the um, society at this very uh, moment looks the way it does and a lot of people are feel fearful of things me myself personally i have not seen any news i don't google that shit i don't look at today's news world news um donald trump um any of those things because none of that fucking exists in my reality the only thing that exists in my reality is the infinite timeless being that i am and so um i live in my um in my own created universe which is uh creating a um outerverse of the same you know what i'm saying which is creating all these magical beautiful things and beautiful connections and i'm attracting uh so many different positive reflections of myself because i am working on myself i'm working on my inner self in order to focus on life living liberty and love you know all right so also um to me evil is the devil it is uh the devil versus being alive it is um the dead versus the living 
evil is the walking dead. This is the people who, uh, evil is the mindset, because I hate to put them as people. Evil is a mindset that is totally focused on everything that is negative, everything that could, um, that is threatening, everything that is different or considered different. <clears throat> and, um, Sergey Benhayan says that evil is anything that keeps one away from our inner heart and thus from our soul. I think that's the, one of the most perfect ways of putting it. Uh, evil, it, it creates a, um, a separatism. It creates um, a, uh, a duality. It makes us think that we are separate from the physical uh, body is separate from um, our, our, our soul. And in some ways it, it is, but to be honest, in the grand scheme of things, it's really not. The physical body is a reflection of your inner being, of your inner self. So if you have um, basically buried your inner self so fucking deep, six feet under, um, you, do, you wouldn't even... You wouldn't even know who you truly are. So you are totally existing on the level of your ego, which is the, the, the evil of yourself. It is the humanity that you're focused on. So when you're focused on the human side, you're focused on the more animalistic side, which is your ego, which is self-preservation, which doesn't really give a fuck about the connection between and the oneness of you and everything in this planet and everything in the universe and how you are actually one, okay? One atom. Um, so, as I was saying, most of us um, have separated ourselves from our inner self, our true self, or our God self. And so we're living in our lower self, the lowest form of who we are. And um, we have done this by focusing on suffering, pain, hurt, misery, and negativity, which is a time-based focus. We're focused on the past or we're focused on the future, which hasn't happened. So since we're uh, focused on those things, which is the mind, which is your ego, you cannot, um, you cannot, um, find your true self. You're un un you're unable to realize your true self, real lies. You're, you're unable to see who you truly are, your real eyes. Real eyes is your real eyes. It's who you truly are is your real eye, if you want to say it that way. So um, because so many people are stuck in that, you basically are disconnected from your true essence, okay? So to sum that all up, <laughs> evil is the separation from the eternal, everlasting, um, omnipotent, infinite life and love that we are at our very core. It is the timeless, ageless being um, that we know deep in, down inside that we are. However, we see it as an outside force, as a physical God that is uh, the puppeteer of our own um, existence and reality and that we don't have any control over um, this uh, physical existence or physical world, even though we are the creators of that world because our minds are being... Some of our minds are being molded like Play-Doh into what um, the ego wants it to uh, be, okay? So in order to truly live, what do we have to do? We have to let go and let God be, okay? And by God, I mean your true self. You have to let go of all of these, these, um, all of these movies and uh, scripts that you keep running over and over and over again in your mind, you have to let go of that and you have to let go, uh, let God, your heart, you have to let that be, you have to let the, the will of God be. Okay. And to let the will of God, which again is our heart lead and guide us is the only way to truly be able to walk the path that we came down here to walk. We didn't come down here to, um, be, um, to be living the way that a lot of us have been living and that the, um, the way that I um, had conditioned myself or had become conditioned to live in as well because we are conditioned based upon our environment. All of these things that we come down here on this plane to experience is so that we can break free of it. It's it, If you don't break free of it, 
then you're going to continue to repeat that cycle, which is what they call karma, which is the cause and effect. So the cause of it is you to continue to think that you are um, your physical body, that that's really all, all you are. And when the physical body perishes or goes back to the earth, then you no longer exist or you don't know what happens or all these things. And you play this out of your mind and you get freaked out and and you're literally trying to live that's why people you be looking at a, a, a woman who is like in her 60s and shit and she's still trying to act act like in the physical like she's a a, a teenager or whatever or like she's in her early 20s and she, her 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 maturity level hasn't reached where it's supposed to be for her physical age that is because she is living in the past and she's stuck in who she used to be when she was um, hot shit, basically. When all the men wanted her based upon her physical attributes, she never graduated in her mentality and her spirituality. So she's stuck in a in that physical way of what her ego, what made her feel good, what stroked her fucking ego. So she's literally dressing like she is still, you know, a 25 year old. You see what I'm saying? However, her physical is truly showing her age and... That is because, I talked about in my last video, um, The Power Now, the book um, Eckhart Tolle that I was reading, or that I'm still reading, talked about how when you are living in the past, it impacts and affects your physical um, reflection, how your physical being looks. So um, that's why a lot of times she'll dress that way, but her physical truly shows that she is her age of 60 or she may even look older than that. And so people start dyeing their hair because they don't want to show the, the gray hairs or white hairs coming in. Um, wear a lot of makeup because they want to cover up wrinkles and all these things because they are living in, in a time loop. And when you're living in a time loop, you are going to be... Um, you're going to be um, ruled by time. You're going to be ruled by Saturn. You're going to be ruled by that physical portraying exactly what you are, um, what your mind is thinking, what your mind is caught in, what your mind is stuck in. It's, it's, a, it's a trap. You want to look younger, yet because you're stuck in the past, you are getting exactly what you say you don't want. It's the law of attraction. Whatever you fear, you're going to fucking have it. So if you fear aging, if you fear dying and guess what? You're going to get it, okay? And even though we know that death is an illusion, that means that the physical body is going to die. So if you want to look at it that way, the physical body is going to die, okay? And all death is is a transition for your soul, but it's a death for the physical body because it was never meant for you to stay in it in the first place. You were come, We came down here to resolve some things within our... Um, within our... our um, Within, with, within ourself in order for us to elevate and get to the next stage of our journey, of our existence. And as long as we keep playing out that same repeat um, cycle of um, what happened to you in the past or um, the, the um, anxiety of what could happen to you, what if, that's why a lot of people living in fear think they got to have a gun because, oh, what if somebody breaks into my house? What if somebody does this? What if, okay, well, if you living by the what ifs, then guess what is going to happen? It is a law of attraction. And so um, I know that I was talking about evil versus live. However, it does play into that because the evil is you living in that manner. It is the, you living in a manner where you feel like you got to harm another person in order to protect yourself when all you're supposed to be doing is going inward. And if you are fixing yourself and focusing on yourself on the inside, you have no choice but to attract everything that your heart could ever de um, desire, even though desire to me is not necessarily the best word however whatever your heart could truly will for you all the love and acceptance and beauty that this life could offer you what uh, in this physical rim and existence so you basically have created a fucking hell for yourself because you are so stuck in what could what could have been what should have been and if you had married this person how your life would have been different if you had um made a different decision and not had children, which a lot of parents don't even like to admit to themselves. They be, they, if you want to be real with yourself and be truthful with yourself, you think if I want to had this child, I would be able to do this and I'll be able to do this and my life would be so different. However, you did have that child. So, so what? That child is still a reflection of you. And 
the reason why you see it as a bad thing is because you haven't fixed things going on within yourself in order to see the blessing in which, which that baby is for you or which that child is for you. So you, you build up a resentment for them because you, you thought, well, okay, when I was 19, before I had this child, look at how my body used to look, look what the child gave me stretch marks, all these different things. And I know that because I'm a woman and even though I haven't had any children, Women comment all the time because, oh, I have a flat stomach and I still have a belly ring that I've had since I was 19 in this physical body. They comment on, oh, when I was your size and, you know, I didn't have stretch marks either and I would have a belly, all these different things. But that's not what your, that's not what your reality is. You did have a child. You were meant to have that child during that time. So because people are not seeing the reward and the blessing in where they are at that moment and the gifts that they were given by that child and what that child was meant to bring into their life, into their existence at this very now in this moment, they are not able to get the message. You know, it's like message. They missing the, the message. They're missing the mark. OK, um, and that's all really I wanted to say about that, to be honest, Um Evil is you being stuck in the mind. You being stuck in a physical realm only. You only being able to see with the physical eyes. You cannot get past what happens with the physical eyes, what you see when you look in the mirror, what you see when you walk outdoors. You have a pessimistic view point of everything. There is no grass, um, green grass outdoors. Everything to you is dead and dying. That's because the, your inner self is dead and dying. OK, you are killing your soul and some people have replaced their soul with money. Most people in the society have 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 sold your soul to money, have sold your soul to 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 physical possessions and things. What car, kind of car you drive, what your house looks like, what your physical self looks like, what um, label that you're putting on this body, because people are so fucking consumed with labels and identifying shit. And that has to do with the physical mind, because a physical mind thinks if it cannot label something, then what the fuck is it? It is unknown, which causes fear. So if you have a label on it, you are comfortable in it because the ego is comfortable in it. OK, but you can't put a label on the unattainable. You can't put a label on something that's un omnipotent. You can't put a label on something that is infinite, that is timeless and that is ageless. It just is. It is. I am that I am. It is the I am. OK, so even when you think about the way you speak and everything, I, that's why people who are conscious or who have become conscious of self watch the words that they speak because um, we start to know that words are a spell and the, the things that we say uh, influences our reality, okay? And influence our reality. So um, we're more mindful of it, but at the same time, you also still don't want to get so caught up in it because that also causes for you to create some things and to be kind of more um, focused on the ego because you're trying to control something that is not necessarily meant for you to control because your inner self goes with the flow. It allows things to just be. So you have to be um, not mindful, but you need to be um, cognizant of that as well. All right. Um, and I think really that's all I, I wanted to express on that, guys, just when you're when you're living you're living in the moment you are living in the very now of what you have which is the only moment you have there is no such thing as time time is an illusion this this existence is a fucking illusion it is a dream world it is what you created it is your own movie script it is what you want it to be happiness is a choice and people a lot of people hate when you say that that shows you really what level somebody is on if somebody is like happiness ain't a choice that they get upset or angry about it that means that that is somebody who is still stuck on the past okay and they want to live in it they want to revel in it because that pain brings them pleasure because that's why pleasure and pain are so close you know with one another okay um in relation to one another so live in in this very moment live in the now because that's all you have that's all we have is this moment and once you start doing that, once you start living, then you're letting go of that evil. Then you are basically becoming your true self. You are actually, you actually are your true self. You can't become something you are. You're just becoming um, connected to your true self instead of being disconnected from your true self. That's the better way of putting it. So, 
with on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, my loves. Again, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel, for subscribing, for liking my videos, um, for um, walking with me on this journey. And um, thank you for um, checking out my Instagram page and becoming a part of my Instagram journey as well. I love you guys. Um, take care of yourself. Um, first because if you don't have self-care and self-love then you can't really love no one else all right peace